what's going on y'all it's the conscious one coming at you y'all I, I y'all gotta watch this tucker carlson with me y'all gotta watch this you know i don't even watch this stuff <laughs> and i told y'all my friend sent me this and it's like shame on her like she she didn't even know about the illinois act she sends me this video and i find tucker is talking about illinois i said how could you send me you don't even people don't even be watching the videos that they <laughs> that they send somebody else i told her i said shame on you but then I told her, I said, I do, guess what, though? I do the same thing. But I usually watch the videos later, though. Like, I don't send, like, if I send somebody a video, I might not watch the whole video, but I watch the whole video later just to make sure nothing's contradicting anything because I wouldn't want to cause any confusion, right? You know, that type of thing. But anyway, I want y'all to watch this Tucker Carlson with me. I want y'all to watch this Tucker with me, man. By the way, I heard Tucker is a gun. I heard Tucker is actually a, a some kind of assault rifle or something. But anyway, let's talk. Let's look at Tucker as he's talking about the uh, the safety act, y'all. Let's listen to it. To the police with threats of prosecution if they do their jobs. That's what the Democratic Party has done, and the effect has been what it was intended to be: depopulating police departments, crime surged. So in the end, they didn't tell you this. But they succeeded in getting rid of the police. And now politicians are just admitting it out loud in a lot of places. They decided to just legalize crime. Here's the mayor of Orland Park, Illinois, Keith Peacow, describing the state's new Safety Act. Watch this. As of January 1st, 2023, the following things will go into effect, and people need to be aware of this. It abolishes cash bail for almost every offense. This includes, but isn't limited to, Kidnapping, armed robbery, second-degree murder, drug-induced homicide, aggravated DUI, threatening a public official, and aggravated fleeing and eluding. And keep this in mind, businesses and homeowners, officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your resident, residence or your businesses. Now, how is this working exactly? Is it such a low-T kind of... Wow, I sure picked a good time to come to, to, come to Chicago, huh, guys? <laughs> I, I picked the I picked a good time. Well, this is happening January first. I actually plan to be in Vegas before then. Okay, because I don't want my car to be getting messed up in in the weather. Uh, and and I don't know. I'm still trying to decide whether I want to keep my car or just rent a car because it com it comes out that the price that I'm spending just to keep my own car up in the gas would be the same pr uh, price that I would pay. Uh, if I did a rental car, so I'm still trying to figure that out. Cause it really doesn't, it doesn't even matter to own a car anymore, guys. I mean, y'all who do own cars, you might as well, you might as well just be ready to separate or divorce it because they don't want you to have cars anyway. So, you know, it don't make no sense. You just right at this time, guys, you should just be happy that you're healthy, uh, that you're eating, that you're drinking clean water. If you're doing that, um, and just day to day, you know, this, this, now is a good time to live in a moment. You see what I'm saying? Uh, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow anymore. But this is this is definitely the purge. It's like I don't even believe it. it's almost like I can't even really believe what I'm hearing right now. Let's go to the uh, uh, the beginning of this video, y'all. They refuse. And at the same time, you are not allowed to protect yourself. So who does that leave in charge? Who runs a world like that? Well, young men with guns, they're in charge. The cruelest and most violent element of any society, the people with the least to lose, the shortest time horizon, the shallowest reservoirs of impulse control. People like that have all the power. You have no power. And that means that everything you have is theirs. That's the end of civilization. It exists in pockets around the world, Mogadishu famously. But if you think it's confined to Mogadishu, you haven't been to Chicago lately. This past Friday, just before noon, a 30-year-old man called Ryan King walked out of a gym in Chicago's Bucktown neighborhood. Bucktown is a former Polish enclave just west of Lincoln Park. It's one of the nicest parts of the city. Real estate websites describe Bucktown as young and hip, a place where recent college graduates who can pay above average rents might live. It's where your kids might live with their friends as they start their first jobs. And that's the most people think of Bucktown, people who haven't been there recently. 
but local news accounts suggest a very different reality. Shots fired during Bucktown robbery. Man shot during robbery attempt in Bucktown. Bucktown couple shares account of armed robbery, and so on, and on many stories like this. Ryan King probably wasn't thinking of armed robbery as he walked out of the gym on Friday. It was broad daylight. It was a weekday. But then a car pulled up right next to him. Three young men jumped out and stuck a gun in his face. Here's an account from a local Fox station in Chicago. Ryan King turned into an alley near the corner of Wabonzia in Oakley to get back to his mother's apartment when a dark-colored vehicle pulls up and three young men jump out. King says one of them pointed a gun right in his face, demanding his wallet. And moments later, he says a passerby saw the mugging unfolding and yelled. Instincts and his martial arts training kicked in, and that's when King hit one of the men with an elbow and ran off. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me stop it right there. His martial arts training. That was a pretty good move, though. <laughs> let's, look at that, let's look at that martial arts move again, y'all. Let's look at it again. That was a that was a pretty good move though. That was a pretty good move. I, I gotta give it to him. Man, listen, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all what Bucktown really is. They said it's a Polish neighborhood. Let me let me I'm here in Chicago. Let me tell y'all what Bucktown is. Bucktown is a yippie-ish slash homosexual neighborhood. Okay? Yeah, there's some probably some Polish there's some Polish people live over there, but that's not when you think of Bucktown, that's not an area I would go to. Why? Because they got gay flags all over there, everywhere. And so these gay flags, first it used to be a little small part of uh, Chicago where they called it Boys Town. But now they're by Wrigley Field. They're, they're everywhere. They're, they're in Bucktown. It's, it's too many of them now, you see. And being in the blue state, y'all, this is just not, it's not safe for me, y'all. It's just not safe. And I'm trying to talk to my loved ones about stuff that's going on. But it's, it's, so, it's only so much you can tell people. They have to make their own mind up. You understand? Um... This is getting out of hand. And men like myself, uh, I'm just like, well, they won't let me stay in a nice apartment, even though I've worked blood, sweat, and tears all my life. They won't let me get an apartment. They won't let me stay in a nice neighborhood. Uh, they, why should I care? You know, uh, they won't, you know, they won't let straight men get jobs. They want to give all the jobs to the homosexuals. They want to give all the condo, nice 300,000 half million dollar condos to these homosexuals who actually don't have the money either to afford it. But they're given the credit line, you see, and we all know that the credit line is the real uh, racism and gentrification is going on through these credit lines. Because let it be no mistake that white people are broke too. It's just that they are be give, being given a credit line. Let's keep on watching this show. Middle of the day, nice neighborhood in one of America's biggest cities. So what happened next? Well, according to reporting by CWB Chicago, just minutes after Ryan King was threatened with death for daring to walk outside in his own neighborhood, Chicago police spotted the gunman's vehicle, but there was nothing they could do about it. Their supervisor ordered them not to pursue it, so the criminals just drove off, and of course they committed more violent crime. In the hours after Ryan King was attacked, 16 more armed robberies were reported in the area. Police believe at least two organized armed gangs are now operating with impunity around Bucktown, which means the gangs are in charge now. That's what the collapse of civilization looks like. But it's now normal in Chicago. According to data from the Chicago Sun-Times newspaper, last year police made arrests in just 12% of reported crime. That's the lowest level recorded in Chicago history. And that's what it means when politicians hand control of the city to criminals. Here you run it. In Chicago right now, taxpayers are more likely to be the victims of crime than criminals are to be punished for it. So the question is, why would anyone in Chicago pay taxes? You'd have to be a masochist to do that, and pretty soon only the masochists will be. So how did this happen? Well, it's no mystery. There are many threads, but George Soros Look at this. is a big one. Soros paid Look at this. They go born quisha, y'all. Back to prosecutor called Tim Fox, who turned Chicago over to the most vicious people who lived there. Not the decent good people in all neighborhoods, the most 
vicious antisocial people. The ones who truly don't care. Look at this, y'all. That's Bonquisha. Kim Fox. We don't even know if that's a, that's her real name. I don't know. That could be a dude. I don't know. Kim Fox. Fox equals 666. See how they use them black, these black women? You see how they what they're doing? Yeah, and we're about to I'm about to roll this clip again. But it's crazy because I was just telling my friend about, you know, them letting black women. We all know about the 17 judges they hired in Houston, all black women. You know, where's the equality in that? You hire 17 all black female judges in Houston. That's not equality. <laughs> you see? Look at that. Look at that. that that's who that's who's in control now, y'all. Bonquisha. Y'all, y'all think, oh my goodness. Let's keep it rolling. Care about others. Willing to kill people for their shoes or their car. The worst people. And they run things now. This is from our Fox station in Chicago. Clutching pictures of loved ones. Families come together to share their loss. My sister name is Tiara Taylor. She died at 30 years old by the hands of her husband. It's been 336 days since the murder of my son that was four years old. They're also united in their anger and frustration that the killers of their family members walk free. They largely blame the office of the Cook County State's Attorney and Kim Fox. So we ask you, Kim Fox, how much longer do our families need to suffer in pain and sorrow with no justice for our loved ones being served? Our children's blood on your hands, Miss Fox, and I hope you see their faces every night. You think Kim Fox cares? You think she's watching? You think those scenes like that penetrate at all? The shell of self-esteem that surrounds her? No, of course not. She doesn't care at all. That's why she did it in the first place. Someone should take action immediately on that. But she's not the only person who did this. The federal government also played a role. And you probably... And so we all know black people are being used. But I just want to put it out there. White people are being used, y'all, too. Don't Let's not get it mistaken. White people are being used to. We must remember that America was a free Masonic experiment. White people are being used too. You know how I know why? Because the white people in Europe look at the white people over here just how the white people over here look at black people. Like, <clears throat> like monkeys, right? Like their lives don't matter. Well, guess what? European white people don't think American white lives matter either. The European thinks of the white man uh, in America as be beneath them, like on, on a savage, like a monkey. Uh, the Europeans, white people speak two languages. They're more educated. Uh, they sent all the lowercase black people, to, uh, uh, excuse me, white people, the vagabonds to America. This is all an experiment. So I just want to put it out there. Let it be no mistake. They're not just using black people in this place. Oh, white people are being used too. That's why this place is going to burn, y'all. It's finna burn. I think I'm gonna stop this video right here, y'all, because I haven't even watched the whole video yet myself. But man, th this this stuff is enough to really twist your head around. You know what I'm saying? Talk to y'all later. Peace.